You're late, 007. I have to stop in the bathroom. Ready to save the world again? After you, 006. James? For England. For England, Alec. It's too easy. Half of everything is luck, James. And the other half? Fate. Set time is six minutes. Come out with your hands above your heads. How original. James, stop this. Stop it. I know what you're doing. Really? What's that, dear? You are just trying to show off the size of your... your... Engine? Ego. Well, we are having a pleasant drive in the country and you've got to bring psychology into it. Yes. Well, I was just sent here to evaluate you. Let's try and put that behind us, shall we? It appears we share the same passions. Three, anyway. I can't do motoring and uh, baccarat. Wheat, au la banque. Seven, madame, wheat. I hope the third is where your real talent lies. One rises to meet a challenge. Straight up, with a twist. Thank you, Mr. The name's Bond. James Bond. Xenia Sergeyevna Onatop. Onatop? Onatop. Your accent, Georgian? Mm, very good, Mr. Bond. You've been to Russia? Not recently. I was a drop in occasionally. Transmission begins from Moneypenny. Identification confirmed. Onatop, Xenia ex-Soviet fighter pilot. Current suspected links to the Yanis crime syndicate, St. Petersburg. Yacht Manticore is leased to a known Yanis corporate front. M authorizes you to observe Miss Onatop, but stipulates no contact without prior approval. End transmission, Moneypenny. Good night, James. I trust you'll stay on a top. This I'm particularly proud of. Behind the headlights, Stinger missiles. Excellent. Just the thing for unwinding after a rough day at the office. Need I remind you, 007, that you have a license to kill, not to break the traffic laws. I wouldn't think of it. Good. Right, let's get on to more practical matters. A pen. This is a class four grenade. Three clicks, arms the four second fuse, another three disarms it. How long did you say the fuse was? Oh, grow up, 007. They all said the pen was mightier than the sword. Thanks to me, they were right. Don't say it. The writing's on the wall? <laughs> Along with the rest of it. Now, 007, do please try and return some... <laughs> Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Don't touch that! You don't need the gun, Commander. That depends on your definition of safe sex. No, no, no. No more foreplay. Take me to Yanis. Please! Alec? Back from the dead. What's the matter, James? No glib remark? No pithy comeback? Why? <laughs> Hilarious question. Particularly from you. Did you ever ask why? Everything you risk your life and limb for has changed. 
It was the job we were chosen for. Of course you'd say that. James Bond, Her Majesty's loyal terrier. Hence, Yanis. Two-faced Roman god come to life. It wasn't God who gave me this face. It was you setting the timers for three minutes instead of six. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? <laughs> oh, by the way, I did think of asking you to join my little scheme. Closing time, James. Last call. <laughs> what, no small talk? No chit-chat? That's the trouble with the world today. No one takes the time to do a really sinister interrogation anymore. It's a lost art. I have an English spy, a Sivernaya programmer, and a helicopter this store. Well, at least that's what some traitor in your government wanted to Who look like. Who is behind your attack on Sivernaya? Who had the authorization code? Russia may have changed, but the penalty for terrorism is still death, Then what's the penalty for treason? Oh, stop it, both of you! Stop it! You're like boys with toys. Trust me. Just be a good boy and die. You first. You second. Up! What are you doing? Boris is online backing up his files. If I can spike him, I might be able to find out where they're going. But don't stand there. Get us out of here. Yes, sir. You destroy every vehicle you get into. Standard operating procedure. Boys with toys. Hmm. Maybe I should take care of the transportation for our trip to Cuba. Ah. Uh, our trip? Do you know how to disarm the weapon? I suppose that depends on what kind of weapon you're talking about disarming. Ten degrees south, bearing one eight four. Yes, sir. <laughs> Interesting setup, Alec. You break into the Bank of England via computer, then transfer the money electronically. Just seconds before you set off the golden eye, which erases any record of the transactions. Ingenious. Thank you, James. But it still boils down to petty theft. In the end, you're just a bank robber. Nothing more than a common thief. Can Boris break your codes? Possibly. Possibly. We have to destroy the transmitter. Either way, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Supposed to be your idea of um, coming through in a clinch. All right. Maybe you two would like to finish debriefing each other at Guantanamo. Hmm? You ready? I'm not going on the helicopter with you. Hmm? No plane, no train. <laughs> Nothing that <laughs> What could possibly go wrong, eh? <laughs>